Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Ipswich City Council post-election meeting, uh, the very first meeting for this term for the 2024-2028 term, held on the 11th of April, starting at 9am. Just before we start, I wish to wish Councillor Pye Augustine a very happy birthday for today. I think there'll be some cake later on today, but happy birthday. A way to, what a wonderful way to spend your birthday. <laughs> And uh, also I'd like to wish Councillor Jim Madden a happy birthday for tomorrow. So happy birthday for tomorrow, Councillor Madden. I call attendance this morning and then all councils except for Councillor Jacob Madsen are in attendance. And then I'll go to the acknowledgement of country. If a city council respectfully acknowledges the traditional owners as custodians of the land and waters we share. We pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging as the keepers of the traditions, customs, cultures, and stories of proud people. I now move on to item three, the opening prayer, and I ask if Councillor Jim Madden could move a prayer, please. Thank you, Mayor. I'm pleased to do the opening prayer for today's meeting. Heavenly Father, we seek you to be with us in this meeting today. Assist us to be an example to others, bringing strength and encouragement in whatever we do and equip us for the ongoing challenges as they arise. Give the guidance to continue to make wise decisions for both the short and long-term benefit of our city and our community, regardless however difficult or unpopular some will be. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Councillor Madden. Item four, apologies and leave of absence. We have an application for a leave of absence uh, for Councillor Jacob Madsen. So I'll move that we give a leave of absence for Councillor Jacob Madsen for today's meeting. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, um, Councillor Jonick. Um, any discussion? I'll put that to the vote. Those in favour? That's unanimous and carried. We move on to item five, declarations of interest in the matters of the agenda. Are there any declarations? No, and before we go to officers' reports, I just want to welcome the many people in the public gallery. I can see Rosemary, Pat, Peter, Andrew, Helen and David. Thank you so much for, for joining in. And just let so you know that any members of the public um, may participate at any of our council meetings. Uh, no need to sign in. You just come on in and, and catch the lift up to level eight. We move on to the officers' reports. And I thought it would be timely for us to um, just reread the local government principles as part of the Local Government Act. These are the principles that we've all signed an oath to, to uphold and maintain. I think it's a good way to start our term, just to remember those five very important principles that we must follow. And the local government principles are one, transparent and effective processes and decision making in the public interest. Two, sustainable development and management of assets and infrastructure and delivery of effective services. Three, democratic representation, social inclusion and meaningful community engagement. Four, good governance of and by local government. And five, ethical and legal behaviour of councillors, local government employees and councillor advisors. Item 16.1 is the 2024 Local Government Quadrennial Election Report. And the recommendation is that the report entitled the 2024 Local Government Quadrennial Election Report by the Manager of Executive Services be received in contents noted. I will move that. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Doyle. Um, in discussion, I want to congratulate each and every one of you. Um, it's um, always a really huge thing to put yourself forward in the public to run. Um, I'd also like to thank all the candidates who also run. We don't have a robust democracy unless people are prepared to uh, put their money where their mouth is and put their, themselves on the line. So um, congratulations to each and every one of you um, who are here today. Is there any discussion on item 6.1? Nope, I'll put the matter to the vote. Those in favour? It's unanimous and carried. Item 6.2 is the appointment of Deputy Mayor. And I move that Council resolve to appoint Councillor Marnie Doyle as the Deputy Mayor. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Augustine. In speaking to this, I would like to speak to my experience of having worked with four councillors in the capacity of Deputy Mayor in the previous term of council. Well, I have no doubt that all nominees today have the capacity to fulfill, successfully fulfil the role of Deputy Mayor, 
I've always appreciated Councillor Doyle's ability not to shy away from the hard conversations or sensitive matters that we will inevitably face over the course of this term. There's an obvious need for a Mayor and Deputy Mayor to work closely together, support each other in fulfilling our duties, and to do so professionally and ethically, even when things get tough. I think it's particularly important that both roles can work together to ensure we remain united and a cohesive group and demonstrate the positive benefits of collaboration. As some of you experienced in the previous term, Councillor Doyle has always acted as a peacemaker within the group, offers sound and sensible insights, and is always willing to have a tough conversation with any councillor. For these reasons, I'll be supporting Councillor Doyle for the role of Deputy Mayor today. Councillor Augustine, as the seconder, do you have any comments you'd like to make? We have liftoff. Um, yes, I do, Mayor. Um, for me, I just think the Deputy Mayor is there to as a support mechanism for the Mayor. Uh, this individual needs to show leadership, empathy and understanding of the team and community that they lead. From 2022, I always knew I wanted to run for council again and over the past four years, I've kept a close eye on all councillors. What interactions everyone had with their communities, how they interacted with their fellow council members. Uh, do they take their role seriously? Or are they running around doing other roles that don't pertain to, to council matters? Now, on my first day in council, I asked a question, um, was everyone in agreement? Are we all happy to draw a line in the sand and work together for the betterment of the city? Which there was a resounding yes. Um, we have all come through a campaign where we've been asked, our, where we asked our constituents to vote for us because we thought we were the best person for the job. Actions speak louder for words for me and as a councillor um, and, and of any of the councillors that have talked um, about wanting to be Deputy Mayor, only one has had the decency to actually come up to me and talk to me about their capabilities. And that is why I'll be voting the way I will be, um, because I matter to that person and shows me that the community matters to them as well. Thank you. I open it for any other discussion. Thank you, Councillor Tully. Yeah, thank you, Mayor. I propose a foreshadowed motion. Yes. As follows, that Council appoint Councillor Jonick as Deputy Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Tully. I'll open for discussion on the uh, matter before us at the moment. If there's no other discussion, I'll put the matter to the vote. Those in favour? It's myself, Councillor Augustine and Councillor Doyle. I vote for. Those against? Thank you. It's Councillor Madden, Councillor Cullen, Councillor Antonelli. Uh, Councillor Cully, Tully, sorry, and Councillor Jonick. Thank you. So that motion did not get up. Thank you very much. We'll now move on to the foreshadowed motion. Thank you, Mayor. I'll just wait till the um, screen comes up so I can read it again. And that foreshadowed motion that Council resolved to appoint Councillor Nicole Jonick as Deputy Mayor. Obviously, you're moving that. Do I have a seconder I'll, for I'll that? I'll move that, yes. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Antonioli. Um, Councillor Tully, would you like to speak to that? Um, no, I'll just be very brief and say that I uh, do support that motion. A councillor who has um, excelled during the past four years, um, Councillor Jonick, and uh, I think she would be able to do an excellent job. Her uh, professional um, qualifications um, with her uh, firm previously at Goodner, I think a testament to what she is able to do and how she's able to uh, bring people together in, in, into a uh, team sense. Um, and I think she would do an excellent job during the... Um, this term of office. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, Councillor Antonioli, would you like to say some words as a seconder? I'll just reserve my right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll open for another discussion. Thank you, Councillor Tonic. Thank you, Mayor. As much as the appointment of Deputy Mayor is on individual merits, each member of this council brings a unique perspective and set of skills to the table. It is by harnessing the collective talents of our council that we truly make a difference in the community. I believe the role of Deputy Mayor is about the collective. Together we have the opportunity to collaborate, celebrate and find solutions to the challenges for the benefit of Ipswich. I'm committed to this collective and I would just like to thank Councillor Tully for the nomination. Thank you, Councillor Johnny. Any other discussions? Would you like to access your right of reply? No? Thank you. I'll put the matter to the vote. Those in favour of... Uh, of appointing Councillor Jonick as Deputy Mayor, please raise your hand. It's um, you know, so in the room except for Councillor Augustine. 
Thank you. Uh, those against, Councillor Augustine. Um, congratulations, Deputy Mayor uh, Nicole Johnny. Thank you. Thank you. We we'll now move on to 16 point, sorry, 6 .3, the meeting dates for council meetings. And you can see that um, we have put forward dates for the ordinary council meeting. Uh, the councillors are still uh, discussing the future committee structure, so we'll put forward these ordinary council dates. And um, I would expect the next meeting will come forward um, with further information on committees. So I move recommendations A, B and C for these dates for the 2024 calendar and the January 2025 calendar. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Any discussion? Put the matter to the vote. Those in favour, please raise your hand. It's unanimous and carried. We'll move on to item 6.4 which is um, members of the Audit and Risk Management Committee, and there are two recommendations here. So I move that council appoint uh, myself, Mayor Teresa Harding, and one of the councillor as members of the Audit and Risk Management Committee, and be that in accordance with section um, 8.1.2 of the Audit and Risk Management Committee Charter, as detailed in attachment one, that the two council members be appointed to the term of four years until March 2028. 20, Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Doyle. I'll open it up for discussion as the mover. This particular committee can have up to two councillors. So I guess I'll open it up to the floor to see if anyone else would like to um, also be on that uh, audit and risk management committee as well. You don't have to, but. Uh, Mayor, I'd like to foreshadow a motion. Yes. I foreshadow a motion that Councillor Johnnick and Councillor Antonelli be important, appointed members of the audit and risk management committee for a term of four years until March 2028. Thank you very much. Um, as the mover, I uh, requested when I look through um, the results of the other 77 councils, most councils, the mayor is part of the Audit and Risk Management Committee. It's an area I think as the leader of this council, uh, I think it's imperative. I have sat in on a couple of them as observers and I certainly have learnt things at the organisation that I didn't know in my role as mayor. So I think as the mayor of the organisation that it would be uh, very important that I attend and be part of that Audit and Risk Management Committee. Is there anyone else who'd like to speak to the matter? Just a point of order, yeah. Mayor. Is the, is the motion complete without two names? Yes, it is. It says you only, a part of the charter, you can have a uh, point one and no more than two councillors. So you can have just the one or you can have two. You can't have more than two. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Excuse me, That's Mayor, uh, was there a seconder for my motion? No, because it was a foreshadowed motion. Okay. So we're thank still you. debating the... Good. Yep. Thank you. Yep. I'll put the matter to the vote. Those in favour, please raise your hand. It's myself, Councillor Augustine and Councillor Doyle. Those against? Thank you, Councillor Madden, Councillor Cullen, Councillor Antonelli, Councillor Tully and the Deputy Mayor against. Thank you, so that was defeated. So we now go to the foreshadowed motion. Um, put forward by Councillor Madden as for Councillor Johnnick and Councillor Antonelli to be on the Audit and Risk Management uh, Committee. Uh, do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Cullen. I'll hand over to you, Councillor Madden, as the mover of the motion. Uh, thank you, um, Mayor. Um, I believe that Councillor Johnnick, being an accountant, has a necessary experience to be on the uh, Audit and Risk Management Committee. And uh, given um, Councillor Antonelli's experience with Council, I think he would uh, make a valuable contribution to the Audit and Risk Management Committee. Thank you very much. Uh, Councillor Cullen, would you like to speak to as the seconder? Mayor, again, it's uh, uh, a financial um, thought in my head that uh, we've got some people that are going to help us with their experience get through some pretty tough times coming up in the next few years. Thank you very much, Councillor Cullen. Any other discussion? Oh, I'll put the matter to the vote. Those in favour, please raise your hand. It's unanimous and carried. Thank you. We we'll now move on to item 16, 6, sorry, 6.5, the nomination of a district representative to the LJQ policy exec. 
I nominate that myself, Mayor Teresa Harding, to represent District Number 2, South East Western Region, the LJQ Policy Executive, for the 2024-2028 term, and that the CEO advise the LJQ Returning Officer of Council's nomination um, by Wednesday the 1st of May. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Doyle. In speaking to this, I would like to be clear that when taking this vote, we are not selecting an Ipswich City Council representative. This role is about representing the district as a whole, which includes our neighbouring councils, Somerset, Lockyer Valley and Scenic Rim. Our neighbouring councils have to date been quite vocal regarding what they perceive as a lack of fair engagement and representation over the last four years, and they have raised concerns with me and others in this group. And I've also had, they've made contact with me um, in this term as well, so I've had contact with all the other mayors in this region. So much so that Somerset Regional Council was so dissatisfied they put forward a motion at the 2021 LJQ conference for review of its constitution regarding the policy exec districts to ensure equitable representation, particularly for councils with small populations. Therefore, it's important that we appoint a policy executive representative that will regularly engage all councils in the district, understand their views and priorities, and keep them informed of important outcomes and decisions. For these reasons, I'll be nominating myself for our LJQ policy executive representative. Alternatively, I firmly believe that anyone putting Anyone else putting their name forward for this job needs to be prepared to take on these responsibilities wholeheartedly and do the right thing by all councils in this district. Councillor Dawes, a second. Did you wish to make any comment or reserve? Thank you. I'll open up for discussion. I'd like to foreshadow a motion, Mayor. Thank you. That Councillor Tully be nominated to represent District 2 South East Western Region on the LGAQ Policy Executive for the 2024-28 term, and that the Chief Executive Officer immediately advise the LGAQ Returning Officer of Council's nomination. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Deputy Mayor. Thank you. Any other discussion on item 6.4? I'll put the matter to the vote. Those in favour, please raise your hand. Myself and Councillor Doyle. Those against? So it's Councillor Augustine, Councillor Johnny, Councillor Tully, Councillor Antonelli, Councillor Cullen and Councillor Madden. Thank you. We now go to the foreshadowed motion. I'll just wait for that to come back up. You can scroll down for shadow motion. So the foreshadowed motion is that Council nominate Councillor Paul Tully to represent District 2, South East Western Region, and the LJQ Policy Executive for 2024-2028. Um, obviously, Council John, Deputy Mayor, you're the mover of that. I, I have no further comments. Thank you. No, but I'm just confirming you're moving that. Yes, I'm moving. And do that. I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Antonioli. Uh, as the mover, sorry, Deputy Mayor, would, you don't wish to make any comments? No further comments. Thank you very much. Councillor Antonella, do you have any as a seconder? Yep. Um, look, I'll be voting against this and um, I've had discussions with councillors and some emails with councillors um, rather than bring it to the chambers, but I guess I'll, I'll have to bring it to the chambers. Um, basically, our, our current executive rep um, will not engage with myself or the other council, other mayors, so much so that after 12 to 18 months of asking um, Councillor Tully to engage and respond to phone calls, and he, and he wouldn't, the Somerset Regional Council actually put up a motion at the 2021, um, or October 2021 LGAQ policy sorry, conference, asking for that, um, that we change the constitution so there's better representation. Now that motion got up and obviously it's been discussed within policy executive. When the new CEO was appointed in November 2021, I had discussions with the CEO of LGAQ to discuss a workaround because clearly um, myself and the other three councils were not feeling represented. Well, I'm very grateful for the fact that she organises now a 30-minute Teams meeting um, one week before the policy exec meeting. That happens six times a year. That gives us some insight. My preference is for there to be at least a phone call once a month from that representative to say, hey, how are things going? This is what's happening in LGAQ. So I guess I'll ask you, Councillor Tully, if you are successful here, uh, would you pay the courtesy of myself and the other three mayors to give us a call once a month um, just to let us know what's happening in LGAQ and also to get our views on what's happening in our region as well? 
I will. I know it's not question time, but I will respond to that um, Thank yeah, you. when I speak to the motion. You'll respond to that when you speak to the motion. Okay. Thank you. I guess I ask for that to occur. Um, I think it's um, a fair way, I think it's a courteous way and it's a transparent way to work with the people that you're meant to be representing. I'll open up for any further discussion. Councillor Tully. Yeah, thanks, Mayor. Um, the, the motion you refer to from uh, Somerset Council, which I voted for um, at the local government uh, conference, uh, was in relation to equitable, equitable representation. Now, uh, and that, that was the key to that motion because Ipswich has eight votes. Mm -hmm. Each of the other three councils, Somerset, Lockyer Valley and Scenic Rim have two votes each. So they were seeking um, a way in which a large council, and this is not unique to um, Ipswich, this is the same situation in Townsville where the Townsville um, uh, uh, district, um, where the city of Townsville has a, uh, uh, a higher number of votes than the other adjoining councils. I have an online um, discussion each uh, in the week before each uh, policy executive uh, meeting with the CEO, uh, last about half an hour, which uh, you normally participate in, and the other three mayors, um, which discusses each of the items coming up on the agenda in that following week. And I also undertake uh, for any general business which any person uh, in that hookup uh, raises, which I faithfully have faithfully for the uh, uh, during this term of office uh, raised um, as a matter before the policy executive. I've, um, I've had a significant um, involvement with the LGAQ uh, over four decades and to specifically answer your question, if there's other feedback that they require, um, whether it be a telephone conversation um, or, or other means of communication during the, um, that off month, um, I'm happy to do that if I'm um, selected for this position. Thank you, Councillor Tully. Any other discussion? I put the matter to the vote. Those in favour? Thank you, uh, Councillor Madden, Councillor Cullen, Councillor Antonelli, Council Doyle, Councillor Tully, uh, Councillor Johnick, and Councillor Augustine. Vote for. Those against? Myself. We now move on to 6.6 .6, to the appointment of chairpersons and deputy chairpersons of the City of Ipswich Disaster. Local Disaster Management Group and Local Recovery and Resilience um, Group. We have um, four recommendations. I'll just do one at a time. I think it'll be a, a clearer and easier way to do that. So recommendation A is that Councillor um, appoint um, myself, Mayor Harding, to continue as the chairperson of the City of Ipswich Local Disaster uh, Management Group. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Doyle. Um, in speaking to that, I think every... Um, Council has the Mayor as the Chair of that group. Um, it's been um, the last four years, it's been um, an intense period with COVID, uh, hailstorm, two floods, um, and very proud of the fact that we've had no loss of life and we've had a, a real focus during those disasters, as well as the fact that um, in the wash up of the um, 2022 uh, floods, the Inspector General Emergency Management um, actually highlighted two of the key things that this council did as part of the, under my leadership of the local disaster management group that they're looking at rolling out in other parts of the state. And that includes very much openly sharing the, rep the disaster reports with all our state and federal MPs as they came in. I know that doesn't happen in many councils, but we made sure we did that to make sure all the elected reps in our, um, in our community were given the same information so they could support their community. So I commit to continuing um, that collaborative approach um, and making sure that our local disaster management group, as well as working with the members of the local disaster management group, members of the Queensland Police, the ADF, the SES, the Rural Fire, Department of Communities, Red Cross, um, Telstra, MBN, Energex and so on, I'll I will continue to work very collaboratively uh, with them. And I seek your support today to continue um, in that role. Is there any other discussion? I'd just like to foreshadow that motion that Councillor Antonelli be appointed the chairperson of the City of the Ipswich Local Disaster Management Group. Thank you. Any other discussion? I put the matter to the vote. Those in favour, please raise your hand. Myself, Councillor Augustine, Councillor Doyle. Uh, those against? The Deputy Mayor, Councillor Tully, Councillor Antonelli, Councillor Cole and Councillor Madden. 
So that was defeated. We go to the foreshadowed motion that uh, Council Antonelli is the chair of the local disaster management group. Um, obviously, Deputy Mayor, you're moving that? Move that. Thank you. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Tully. Thank you. Councillor John, oh, Deputy Mayor, would you like to speak to that? I have nothing further to add. Thank you. Nothing to add. Um, thank you, Councillor Tully. Do you wish to speak to it? Yes, uh, just briefly, Mayor. Thank you. Um, Councillor Andrinelli has um, filled this position uh, in the past and um, um, he has that uh, experience over um, that period of time. Um, I think he's excellent, excellently qualified uh, to undertake uh, this role. He's a former police officer. He's familiar with the procedures uh, during uh, emergencies and uh, disaster management. And uh, I believe he would fill that role admirably. Thank you. Any other discussion between Councillor Antonelli? You wish, wish to speak to him? No? I think the council is for my nomination. Thank you. If there's no discussion, I'll put the matter to the vote. Those uh, four, please raise your hand. Thank you, Councillor Madden, uh, Councillor Cullen, Councillor Tully, Councillor uh, Tully, uh, Councillor and Deputy Mayor. Those against, myself, Councillor Augustine and Councillor Doyle. Uh, that, may, that has gotten up. Congratulations, you're the Chair of the Local Disaster Management Group, uh, Councillor Antonelli. Uh, council, the next one is that Council appoints, it says one of its councillors as the Deputy Chair of the City of Ipswich Local Disaster Management Group. In the past, we have had two deputies, so um, I guess I'll, I'll move that, that one is appointed and if we can move and second, then we, I guess we can go to a, um, have a discussion to discuss who would like to do that. So if I could move that council appoint one of its councils as the deputy chairperson of the city of Ipswich Local Disaster Management Group. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Councillor Tully. I know I opened up for discussion. I think, Deputy Mayor, you were going to say something. Uh, I agree with your motion, Mayor, and I'd like to nominate Councillor Cullen for mm -hmm. the deputy um, position. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll second the motion. Thank you very much. Okay. Any discussion on that? Nope. I'll put the data to the vote. Um, sorry, this. So, those in favour, please raise your hand. Myself, Councillor Madden, Councillor Cullen, Councillor Antonelli, Councillor Tully, and Deputy Mayor, and Councillor Augustine. Those against? Those abstaining? Thank you, Councillor Doyle. We now move on to the council points one of its councils as the chairperson of the city of Ipswich Local Recovery and Resilience Group. I'll move this a second so we can have a discussion as to anyone who'd like to nominate, because at this stage I've had no one put their hand forward. So I'll move that council appoint one of its councils as the chairperson of the city of Ipswich Local Recovery and Resilience Group. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Deputy Mayor. I'll now open up for discussion. Okay, Councillor Antonelli, I think you had your microphone. Yeah, I'd like to nominate the Mayor for that position. Oh. Thank you. Is there a seconder for that? I second that, yep. Thank you. Any discussion? I put that to the vote. Those in favour? Thank you. It's unanimous and carried. The last one is that council appoint one of its councillors as the deputy chairperson of the local city of Ipswich local recovery and resilience group. Again, I'll move that so we can have a discussion. Has no one else has put their hand up to me previously? Do I have a seconder for that for recommendation D? Thank you, Council Antonelli. Um, I now open up for discussion. I'd like to nominate Councillor Madden for that position. All right. Thank you. Um, I'd be very supportive. If I could make a comment, it did work out well to have someone who was the deputy chair. There were some, some, some similarities between the LDMG and the local recovery group, so I think it would be good if there's that constant communication. So I would support that, Councillor Matter. I just thought I'd let the group here know that. So, um, sorry, I was speaking to it. Councillor Madden has been um, nominated. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Sorry, I spoke out of turn then. I'll be voting to support you, Councillor Madden. Just want to highlight the importance of the two groups um, liaising closely together. Uh, any other discussion? Put the matter to the vote. Those in favour, please raise your hand. 
Thank you. Um, it's everyone in the room except for Councillor Doyle. Those against? Those abstaining? Thank you, Councillor Doyle. Move on to item 6.7, which is the Council representation on the Ipswich Rivers Improvement Trust, as well as the Darling Downs Morton uh, Rabbit Board. And recommendation A, I'll do each one separately as they are two different appointments. Uh, the Council uh, nominate um, Councillor Jacob Madsen to be appointed to the Rivers Improvement Trust um, as part of as part three of Division One of the Rivers Improvement Trust. I do believe we can have a second person, but I'll move that to start off with. Do I have a seconder? Thank you, Councillor. I just no, I just have a point of order, Mayor. Yeah. In the report uh, before us, it, uh, and, and perhaps uh, Mr. Wade Wilson, if he's here, the report um, suggests that because Councillor Madden. Uh, a Madsen um, is an existing member and a continuing councillor. Right. We don't have to appoint that okay. position. Um, that, that's how I read it. Yep. And, that, and that there's only um, actually one vacancy okay. uh, in that. Um, could I correct, just, correct me if I'm wrong. Could I just confirm that with yourself and Mr Wilson? He's, I'm getting a nod in the public gallery, Mr Wilson. It's nodding that that is correct. Okay. Thank you very much, Councillor Tully. In that case, uh, Councillor Madsen remains and uh, we're looking for appointing another person. In that case, I'll change my... Um, Recommendation that council nominate one of its councils to be appointed to the Ipswich Rivers Improvement Trust. Do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Deputy Mayor. I'll then open up for who would like to be on that. So we'd like to nominate someone to be on that board. Mayor, I'd like to nominate uh, Councillor Cullen. Councillor Cullen. Thank you. Just checking you're okay with that. Thank you. Um, do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Council Madden. Any discussion? Put those to vote. Those in favour, please raise your hand. It's unanimous and carried. Next, the council nominate um, Councillor Jim Madden to be considered for the appointment of the Darling Downs Morton Rabbit Board. Uh, do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, um, Council Augustine. Um, in moving this, I just I think um, at the moment Council Kunzman is on the board until August this year, and I do know that our nomination does go to the state government for them to make their decisions as well. Um, I'll then open up for um, Council Augustine. Do you wish to speak to anything on that matter? No. Anyone else open up for discussion? Thank you, Councillor Tully. Uh, just briefly, I think um, the councillor has um, um, a lot of experience in in this field, and people might. I laugh at the uh, rabbit board, which has been in existence for a long time, and the, each council in the uh, rabbit board area has to pay a significant precept uh, for the control of rabbits to keep them out of the area or minimise them. The Gold Coast, for example, um, is required to pay, pay a precept, uh, as we do. It's based in Warwick. Uh, it does perform an important role, um, and it's like any of the uh, pests that have been imported into Australia, whether they're the fire ant or the fox or the cane toad, uh, anything like that, these ones are, uh, I think, will be in safe, well, not safe hands, hopefully, with the uh, Councillor Madden there. Thank you. Any other discussion? Councillor Madden, would you like to say a few words? I, I just wanted to say this, Mayor. Thank you for the nomination, fellow councillors. But I've had a long association with the Rabbit Board, and I'm looking forward to continuing that association, for them continuing their good works in controlling not just rabbits, but wild dogs. My apologies, Mayor. We have a, just a minor typo oh, in yes. the resolution, uh, sorry, the recommendation there. It should the, the dash should be between Downs and Morton, not between Darling and Downs. Okay, so Darling Downs, Dash, Morton, Rabbit Board. Apologies for that. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion? Yes, Deputy Mayor. I just wanted to add that I was pleasantly surprised when um, Council Madden's enthusiasm to join this board um, was <laughs> shared amongst the elected um, group and um, and I've learnt a lot about you, Council Madden, over the course of the last few weeks and it is all very interesting. So um, here, here to you on the to nominate on the rabbit board. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as a result, I'll close off in, in summary to say oh, I can confirm the Deputy Mayor's views that, um, that, that Councillor Madden was the very, I think for the first day, said that he was really passionate about uh, representing our area and being on the rabbit board. So uh, let's hope the nomination goes through. Quickly, we'll put the matter to the vote. Those in favour, please raise your sorry, hand. Sorry, sorry, Mayor. Yeah. Apologies again. I'm getting yeah. 
another a message question? through from Mr. Wilson um, that it just may be safer. Our apologies to appoint the second councillor to the Ipswich Rivers Improvement Trust. Just to err on the side of caution, if we wouldn't mind appointing she, she Councillor appoint Madsen for the further term. I don't have a problem with that. I'm not sure whether I or, or how that was moved or seconded, but um, perhaps if, uh, can, I'm supportive of that. Perhaps can I, can I use, just... So use, we're in the process of voting on the, no. um, Darling, Rabbit, the Darling Downs Morton Rabbit Board, so if we could, vote, we could vote, finish that and then I'll go back to recommendation A. So... Um, so just to reiterate that the council nominate Councillor Jim Madden to be considered for an appointment to the Darling Downs hyphen Morton Rabbit Board. Uh, those in favour, please raise your hand and it's unanimous and carried. And so the CEO has mentioned, a, I guess, something in, for recommendation A um, that it might be a bit more prudent to include Councillor Madsen to... I don't have any issue if it's, if it's a belt and braces perspective, if that's OK with the, yeah, the group I'm, here. I'm, I'm supportive of that. Yep, so in that case... Um, As a seconder of the original motion, I'm happy with that. Okay, thank you. So we'll nominate that councillor... Uh, that council nominate councillor Jacob Madsen to continue uh, his appointment on the Rivers... Um, Ipswich oh, I'm Rivers Improvement Trust. Mover. Sorry, my apologies. Happy with that? So I can't remember who moved. So I'll, I'll move that. And do I have a seconder for that? Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Any discussion? Put that to the vote. Those in favour, please raise your hands. Unanimous and carried. Um, thank you very much. That's the end of our uh, post-election uh, council meeting. Thank you so much. Uh, obviously, there was quite a few differences of opinion. I, I just want to reiterate the importance of a robust democracy to have differences of opinion. And I'll, I'll reiterate what I've said to the, count, to the community many times. If this council walks out and votes the same way every single time, you'll know that there were backroom deals. So thank you very much for the professionalism displayed. Thank you very much for, um, you know, putting forward your views professionally and robustly. And I really appreciate it. I think it's a great meeting for the start of the term. And I'll close the meeting at 9.37.